Alright, here's another solving system of equations, and we'll be using the substitution method. But notice that the x or the y is not isolated. It's not by itself, so we actually have to change this problem over here so that we can get x by itself. So I'm going to rewrite it here. And it's always important to show all work. This is to reduce any kind of careless mistakes. So x is being um, added to 5y, so in order to get rid of 5y, we're going to subtract it to both sides. You can see videos on one-step, two-step equations. Um, and we have here x. The 5y's cancel out, and we're left with negative 3 minus 5y. Or you can write negative, minus, negative 5y minus 3. Either way, it's fine. So now that we have the x isolated, we can substitute it for this. This x is now negative 3 minus 5y. So we rewrite it, and we always put it in parentheses so that we don't forget to distribute later on. Common mistake is we don't put parentheses and we end up multiplying this to this and forgetting about the negative 5y. Copy the problem exactly the way it is above with your substitution, and now you can go ahead and distribute. We have negative 9 minus 15y minus 2y equals 8. Okay. Now in our previous videos, I've taught you how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. This technique helps me. It's called copy, change, change. So we copy this, we change the sign, and it becomes a negative 15y. Then we copy this, change the sign, and it becomes negative 2y. And we have videos on this if you'd like to check that out as well. Okay. So we have negative 9. We're copying like terms. Combining like terms, this is going to be plus negative 17y equals 8. We're going to go ahead and add 9 to both sides because our goal is to get y by itself. This is a two-step equation. If you have any questions on these, you can review my video on solving multi-step equations. Okay, so we're running out of a little space here. So we're going to recopy this. So we're going to end up with negative 17y on the left side equals to a positive 17. And then in order to get rid of your negative 17, we're going to do the inverse operation by dividing. Since negative 17 is being multiplied to y, we're going to divide it. And we get y equals negative 1. Now that's only half of the answer. Now we have to plug it into one or the other equation. So you can always choose because the x and y has to go into this equation, this equation, so you can choose. So I'm going to choose the first equation. So x plus 5 times negative 1 equals to negative 3. x plus negative 6, excuse me, negative 5 equals to negative 3. And we're going to add 5 to both sides. Then we have x equals positive 2. Now remember, your final form of the answer is going to be x, y. Remember not to reverse that. Okay?